Uh, hello, my name is Sergei Jaikala and I'd like to present you the project I'm working on. It is open source home automation platform. But at first, let me tell you about basic ideas standing behind the project. Uh, here's what I call uh, an evolution of relations between human, information and things. Uh, by things, I mean devices people use for living, like for example hearing systems. So the first image is yesterday. Uh, where user gets information from the world around, making some decisions and takes actions on devices he has. In case of heating system, uh, he is changing the temperature when it's getting cold. Uh, next step is automation. Devices can get information from the outside and change their operational mode accordingly. Much better, but still far from perfect. The problem is that in the most cases devices are not connected to each other and they cannot work as a complex sharing information to each other. And still they do require attention uh, to work uh, the optimal way. I can set desired temperature for the heater but I still have to update it uh, when I'm leaving home or coming back. So the next step uh, will be integration of the most of electronics into one connected environment that will be smart enough to control itself automatically. As we can see in this case the main exchange channel will be between devices and the human will not have to take a lot of actions to the devices and he does not have to know much about all the systems work. They should work just the optimal way in given conditions. So my vision of the smart home idea is to have the system providing the best living conditions in all possible senses with the much less attention from the user. On this slide I'm showing the main functions or features of the smart home listed by priority. First thing is security. We can talk uh, here about video surveillance, fire protection, etc. But uh, not limited to that kind of security. Smart home can analyze uh, current conditions to prevent some potential dangerous situations, like for example it will notify a user when entry gates left open in the evening, uh, heating temperature rising too fast or any kind of weather troubles. Uh, the next thing is economy. The most important part of the smart home is ability to operate different systems in the most effective mode from the point of economy. For example, using GPS data from the smartphones or in-house motion sensors, your system can see that nobody's home and heating or air conditioner can be turned into economy mode. And this is good from the point of getting low expenses. Also, with the smart home you can track energy usage in real time to see where it goes. Comfort is an endless field including all kinds of information scenarios from the in-house climate control to the multimedia systems and communications. And at least bonus part, the smart home is a really cool thing. Believe me, you can really impress your guests with all cool stuff you have working automatically, talking to you and accepting your commands. Ok, let me tell you a few words about the platform in technical terms. Majordoma is free and open source system. It is, based, it is based on some other open source projects and in most parts looks and works like web application. You can see it by the environment it is running in and development tools used. The platform can be running on different operational systems including all kinds of Linux distributions and Windows systems starting from XP. In case of Windows system you can just download installation package and install it like any other application, so it will be up and running just in a couple of minutes. Majordomo provides a web interface uh, for the user and it provides API uh, for the integration with any other systems and devices. Like I said, the platform is open source and the core can be downloaded from the GitHub. Uh, the license for the software is MIT, so basically you can do anything you want with it in commercial or non-commercial projects, of course keeping the original authorship information in it. And the significant note uh, is that uh, Majodoma is not uh, ready product in the box. It's tool or it's platform to be used in building solutions for the end users. Let's talk a little bit about the uh, design of the system. Uh, the system can be split into three main layers. The lowest layer uh, includes the number of components working with hardware devices by their own protocols. The devices can be really different, including Z-Wave, Family, OneWire, all kinds of TCP devices or Arduino-based controllers. Middle layer includes components and logic for devices. There are objects with their methods and properties, so you can work with devices no matter what uh, they are physically. And we have object-oriented model here uh, with things like delegation, enca encapsulation, etc. Also, on this layer we can see applications providing additional features for the end user. 
<clears throat> for example, for example, it can be inventory tracking application or shopping list management tool. There is easy tool called uh, Plugins Market to install additional application made by other made by other developers. The highest layer is user interface. At first, uh, uh, it is a web interface available from any kind of modern devices, from the laptops to smartphones and tablets. Else, a user can interact with the system with uh, his own voice uh, or using Skype Messenger. Uh, a few words about the development on the platform. The main programming language used is PHP, uh, and in most cases, uh, the basic knowledge will be enough to program pretty complex scenarios. But there is also another option available, Google Blockly. It is an open source company that allows to program just using visual blocks. You can see uh, on this slide how the same script looks in PHP and in this kind of blocks. Uh, here you can see examples of the mobile interface. Uh, interface is fully customizable. It can be dark or light and it supports uh, different languages. In this case examples are in English and Russian. There could be buttons, switches, custom HTML widgets, video streaming from security cameras, etc. This is an example of uh, interface for wider screens, so-called sense with free position of interactive and dynamic elements and widgets. On the left you can see Google Map integrated with the system showing position of the users, ba users based on the data from their smartphone's GPS system. Community support is one of the most important parts of the project. First of all, community takes part in development as a big quality insurance team, finding all kinds of bugs and providing a lot of ideas for future development. Platform has many installations working in 24-7 uh, mode, uh, so any problems uh, are getting found very quickly. There are also several people uh, doing commits uh, into the source code as a project located at GitHub that has great features related to the source code management. The other role of community is to create and integrate different devices into the system. The great variety of devices were built or integrated already, and there are many others to be added soon. Ability to discuss smart living scenarios is another big thing. It is not a big deal to fulfill the house with all kinds of electronics, but to use them smart and connected is much more difficult task. So we discuss it together and find new interesting solutions. Connect sub-project is the part of community and, like it said, it connects people from different cities and countries using the project, so they can share the configurations, scripts and components they use in their smart homes, so basically people can learn from each other by seeing how it is done. Thank you very much for watching this presentation and I hope to see you soon as part of growing Majordomo community. Thank you.